Hi everyone, welcome to Lola's Frugal Life. This is episode number 166, and this is my weekly meal plan episode. So please stick around for a few quick words from our sponsor, and we'll get right into the show. Today's episode is brought to you by BetterHelp. If there is something interfering with your happiness or preventing you from achieving your goals, BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. You can start communicating in under 48 hours. It's not a crisis line, it's not self-help, it's professional counseling done securely online. There is a broad range of expertise available, which may not be available to you locally. The service is available for clients worldwide. You can log into your account anytime and send a message to your counselor. You'll get timely and thoughtful responses, plus you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions so you won't ever have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room as with traditional therapy. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches so they make it easy and free to change counselors if needed. It's more affordable than traditional offline counseling and financial aid is available. BetterHelp wants you to start living a happier life today. Visit BetterHelp.com slash Lola, that's Better H-E-L-P, and join the over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp, and Lola's Frugal Life listeners get 10% off their first month at BetterHelp.com slash Lola. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to my weekly meal plan episode. If you're new, um, just real quick, what I do in this episode is each week I share with you what's on my meal plan for the upcoming week. I just do um, dinners primarily. We don't really plan for breakfast or lunches. Um, You know, breakfast, we just do like cereal or um, eggs or whatever. And then lunches are usually leftovers or sandwiches or frozen pizza or something like that. So the meal plan is going to be um, from Saturday through Friday. Um, The episode comes out every Wednesday. And the reason I'm sharing this is because I just think meal planning is really important um, as far as for budgeting and for um, just having an easier day and not having to worry about what you're making for dinner that night and having it already planned out and having the ingredients that you need to make those recipes. Um, It also leads to less food waste because you're not buying things that you're not going to end up cooking. So um, that's why I do this. That's why I decided to do this show. Um, Some of you might want to follow along with some of the um, recipes and some of you maybe might just want to listen just to motivate yourself on putting your own meal plan together. So this week's, um, oh, I always forget to say this too. The, um, I do follow like a meal rotation. So you will definitely um, find that meals repeat over the course of time, some more frequently than others, but I don't spend a whole lot of time trying to find new recipes. I do fit some in once in a while, but I just try and keep it really simple. Um, And I do a grocery shop on Thursdays, so I do my meal plan through Friday. That way, in case something comes up on a Thursday that I just can't get to the grocery store, I've already shopped for one additional day um, that we can get through until I'm able to get to the grocery store. And that actually just happened Um, the last few times, the last few weeks, actually, we kept getting snow on Thursday and it was bad roads and everything. And I didn't want to go out grocery shopping. So it, it worked out. It does work out sometimes when that happens. And even like with the holidays, like, um, Thanksgiving and then Christmas, I think it was on a Thursday. And I feel like New Year's or New Year's Eve, I forget. It just seemed like back to back that, um, I didn't wind up going shopping on that Thursday. So it, it works out by, planning the meals like a day extra past um, the day you're going to go grocery shopping. So anyway, so this um, this week um, starts on February um, 27th, Saturday, February 27th. So on Saturday, we are having baked chicken nuggets, which is from allrecipes.com. This is just like a really uh, quick, simple baked chicken nugget. Um, It's coated with um, butter and then breadcrumbs and then you bake it in the oven. One tip I do have for this that I never really think to share, and I haven't done this in a while, but what I used to do is when I would get the chicken breast before I would put it in the freezer, like when I went grocery shopping, I would cut it up into the nuggets right then and then freeze it that way. So that that way when I came home from work and it was time to make this meal, I would have the chicken defrosted, it would already be cut up and all I had to do was bread it real quick and put it in the oven. So that's just a little tip um, to share. I really should get back into doing that. Um, 
I'm also making with that five ingredient instant pot mac and cheese from foodnetwork.com. Um, if you have an instant pot, this is a really super quick, easy way to make mac and cheese. It's literally like four cups of macaroni, four cups of water, set the instant pot for four minutes, and then you add evaporated milk and shredded cheese when it's done. It's so super easy and it comes out good. And then we're doing um, bag salad with that. I just call it a bag salad. It's one of those salads that comes in a bag with some toppings and dressing or whatever. I like to pick those up once in a while. Um, so we are having that for Saturday. For Sunday, we're doing um, cheesy crispy chicken. I do not have a recipe um, link for this one, but pretty much what you do is you just take um, chicken breast and you coat it with um, milk and then dip it in um, crushed up Ritz crackers. You put it in a baking dish, you sprinkle um, cheddar cheese over top and you bake it in a nine by 13 baking dish for um, 35 minutes covered with foil. You have to, you put it in the baking dish, you cover it with foil and you bake it for 35 minutes at 400. It comes out really good. So, um, and with that on the side, we're having broccoli pasta side dish, which is from tasteofhome.com. And I mean, it's pretty much just pasta cooked up with, you saute some broccoli, you cook up some pasta and you mix them together and put like some olive oil, butter, salt and pepper. It's really just a super simple side dish. Um, so that's for Sunday. For Monday, we are doing um, hamburgers. I don't have a recipe for that. I just pretty much take ground beef and make it into patties and cook them up. Um, I sometimes sprinkle some of the McCormick um, hamburger seasoning on it. That's pretty good. Um, we're also doing a can of pork and beans and um, oven fresh seasoned potato wedges, which is from allrecipes.com. I make those almost every time I do um, hamburgers. They're just a really good side dish and they're really quick and easy. You don't need to peel the potatoes or anything. You just cut them into wedges, shake them up in a uh, Ziploc bag with seasonings, olive oil and Parmesan cheese and other seasonings and then you just bake them in the oven and they come out really good. You gotta make sure you bake them long enough though. Um, I have a feeling that I bake them longer than what the recipe calls for. I feel like I always wind up putting them in longer because they're not cooked long enough. So just taste one before um, you take them out of the oven and then leave them in longer if you need to, but if you cook them long enough, they come out really good. Um, so then for Tuesday, we're doing ch chicken chimichangas with sour cream sauce, which is from allrecipes.com. Um, like I always say when I make this recipe, I've never made the sour cream sauce. I primarily just use the recipe for the chicken chimichangas and then I just put regular sour cream out as a topping to go with them. And I make them in the air fryer. Um, I think this recipe calls for frying them. Um, it does, it calls for like deep frying them. But what I do is I just spray them with cooking spray and I put them in the air fryer for like about 10 minutes on 360 and they come out really crispy and good and it's super quick and easy. And then um, I was just gonna do um, another salad with that, but just like a little homemade salad with whatever I happen to um, have on hand. So that's gonna be um, for Tuesday. So then for Wednesday, um, we have, we're gonna do um, grilled salmon and this recipe that I have is from allrecipes.com. It's just a simple marinade with um, soy sauce, brown sugar, and vegetable oil and water. And this is obviously meant to be grilled, but I'm gonna try and do the same marinade and just broil the salmon or maybe bake it. I haven't exactly decided yet, um, but we're doing that. And then we're gonna do easy rice bake casserole on the side with that. That's from foodnetwork.com. And this is just a bake with, um, it's like rice and milk and eggs and cheese and spinach, and it's just kind of like a rice casserole. So I thought that would go really good with the salmon. Then for Thursday, um, Thursdays we usually always do soup or um, breakfast for dinner, because that's the night that I go grocery shopping, so I don't wanna come home and have like a big meal to have to cook after I come home and have to put all the groceries away. So we are doing slow cooker chicken taco soup and um, that is from allrecipes.com also. Sorry, I just do tend to get a bunch of my recipes from that website. I just have like over time, always kind of just defaulted to go to that site. Um, so this is just a really easy, um, it's like a chicken tortilla soup. Basically it's got beans and corn and tomato sauce and tomatoes and um, taco seasoning and chicken breast. 
and you just let it cook all day in the crock pot and then you can serve it with like crushed up tortilla chips and sour cream and cheese on top. It's really good. Um, I do have on my recipe plan to make grilled cheese on the side, but sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Um, it's usually pretty filling on its own once you put like the tortilla chips on top and stuff. So, you know, you can decide if you want to make grilled cheese to go on the side with that or not. Then for Friday, we are doing um, creamy herbed pork chops from allrecipes.com. And um, this is just like a, a simple pork chop recipe. Um, it calls for the Montreal steak seasoning. Um, and you just kind of make like a creamy um, little sauce like to go on the pork chops. Um, and then with that, we are doing vegetarian tater tot casserole two, like Roman numeral two from allrecipes.com. Um, this is not the healthiest side dish, but it's really good and we like to have it once in a while. It goes good with the pork chops or any other kind of like meat. Um, so pretty much it's just uh, tater tots with sour cream, cheddar cheese, cream and mushroom soup. Mix it all together, bake it, and uh, we have tater tot casserole. And then with that, I'm also gonna do a chickpea salad, which is called chickpea salad, Roman numeral two, from allrecipes.com. And um, it's pretty much just like chickpeas, cucumber, grape tomatoes, and then a bunch of seasonings. Uh, you can put all the seasonings or not. A lot of times I just season, pre actually pretty much always, I just season with whatever I have on hand. So um, it just makes like a nice little light cold salad. So that is Friday. So that's the last meal um, uh, for the meal plan. So I hope this was helpful to you. Um, if you'd like to reach out to me for any reason, you can reach me at facebook.com slash Lola's Frugal Life. We also have a private listeners group, which is at facebook.com slash groups slash Lola's Frugal Life. Um, the Facebook site, um, not the group site, but the regular Facebook site, I always post the recipe links for any of these recipes that have an actual link that you can go to. I don't post them every week. Once they've been posted to the site, I don't repost them again. So once a week, I'll just check what I had on my list and see if there was any that haven't previously been posted. Um, but at this point, most of them already have been. So if you just search the site, you um, can find the recipe links if you're interested um, in downloading them or whatever. So also, um, I have a new email address. It's lolasfrugallife at gmail.com, no apostrophe. You can shoot me a message if you have anything you'd like to comment on or ask me about. If you like the show, don't forget to subscribe. And also, um, please um, leave me a nice rating if you would like to, because it's supposed to really help with um, getting others to find the show. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for listening, and I hope you have a really awesome day.